Hello, this is Ear Trash or Chris from How To Ableton, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining how you can share your projects with Ableton and avoid getting errors. Uh, quite commonly, people tell me that when they go to send a project, or quite often when people send me projects, um, I get a little message at the bottom saying that their sample's missing, click here for more. And then, upon further investigation, I realize that they haven't included any of the samples. There's a really easy way to overcome this, and that is to collect all and save. So when you press F11 to go to full screen, there's a little option here called collect all and save. And just to be safe, I always enable all of these. Um, I'm not sure if you have to have uh, have all of them enabled, but I just do that to be safe. Because I have noticed that um, sometimes if I don't have this one enabled, or this one enabled, there'll be the odd sample that would fit into that category and it'll be missing. So with all them enabled, just press OK. So now when we go to our project folder, which mine should be on my desktop, yep, uh, there should be a new folder inside it now called samples, and this will have all our imported, processed and recorded samples. And then when you want to save this, you would just right click this, send to a zipped folder, or if you're on a Mac, whatever the equivalent would be, I'm not sure, and then you just... Then you just click and drag it into Skype or something like that and uh, send it on. So yeah, that's pretty simple. You just got to collect all and save. Um, obviously, if you're using VSTs and stuff, uh, it's always a good idea to do what I've done here. And that is uh, freeze and flatten your tracks. So freeze track. And then once it's frozen, right click again and flatten. And that's just going to convert all your MIDI data into audio, da audio data like so. So uh, yeah, sorry about the lack of tutorials recently. I've been busy with working on the new website for How To Ableton. So I'll put a link in the description for that where you can go and check that out and uh, give your suggestions. I'm thinking about maybe starting like a, a forum for it so people can get help with Ableton and uh, help each other and stuff. So with that said, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you pretty soon. Going.